I became a scientist because I always liked to solve puzzles and uh, always new types of puzzles. So that's, I find it very stimulating. At the core, I think uh, I'm really an engineer. I really, I'm impressed by the engineering principles that we find in nature and the, the way nature can make materials with very impressive mechanical performance, for example, but using very simple components. So the reason that this is possible is because nature has found a way to organize the material across scales to yeah, maximize its properties. So I always found this uh, really fascinating. And there are yeah, many groups in the world trying to mimic this, trying to reproduce these materials. So this is the field of bio-inspired material. Most of the approaches that are taken to, to make this bio-inspired material rely more on chemistry. And uh, often there's yeah, lots of energy taken to make this material with toxic waste. So our idea was to do this in a more environmentally friendly manner with the use of microorganisms. So we started with bacteria and now more recently I'm also uh, using microalgae to make uh, this, this material. The first material that we, uh, we wanted to uh, mimic is nacre. At the micron scale it has this brick and mortar structure. So the way that we mimicked this uh, structure was by using a bacteria that can precipitate calcium carbonate layers. And in between these layers, we use another kind of bacteria that secrete a polymer uh, that can act like a viscoelastic glue in between the layers. And uh, we were really happy with the performance also of our material. We could reach really high uh, values of toughness. A lot in our work is about finding new ideas and sometimes it's good to you know, look and do other things. And this could be through, for example, spending time with my kids or recently I started also something new. I uh, started to paint things from nature. And this is something I really enjoy. In our case, we want the microbe to be the factory, so to be the workers. And that sometimes can create challenges because many of them, they only like to grow in some very specific media. One day, maybe I can give you one tube with everything in there to make the material. I believe in that, in that case, we need to have the whole factory in a tube. And this yeah, it would, is only possible, I think, with living cells being used as, as a factory.